হ্যাঁ স্টুডেন্টস তো আজকে আমরা ডিসকাস করুন ভ্যাক্টারের ব্যাপারে আমরা লাস্ট দিন কি করছিলাম ভ্যাক্টার হাউ মেনি টাইপস অফ ভ্যাক্টার আর দেয়ার তারপরে কি জিরো ভ্যাক্টার কারে কই তারপরে তোমার কি আছিল এরিয়াল ভ্যাক্টার পোলার কোঅর্ডিনেটস এগুলোর ব্যাপারে আমরা পড়ছিলাম ইউনিট ভ্যাক্টার উই ইউজুয়ালি স্টাডিড अबाउट দা টাইপস অফ ভ্যাক্টার ইন দা লাস্ট ক্লাস বাট টুডে হোয়াট উইল বি ডুইং উইল ফাইন্ড আউট হাউ টু ফাইন্ড দা রেজাল্ট্যান্ট অফ টু ভ্যাক্টারস মানে কি দেখো ফার্স্ট অফ অল আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হোয়াট ইজ রেজাল্ট্যান্ট ওকে so before beginning with resultant let us find a peculiar property of a vector say let me take an object say there is a box lying in front of you okay there is a box lying in front of you now see this is the ground and and a frictionless ground okay not a, uh, it does not contain any friction it is a frictionless ground okay so there is no friction in it now if i want to push this particular box say with the force f what i did i am pushing this particular box with the force f and say another another person he is pulling the box with the force a f dash now in total how many forces are there noticeable for us see i am not drawing the free body diagram i am just showing you what forces are available to us one of the forces f that you are pushing with and another fellow is what pulling the body with a force f dash so if i eliminate this particular box now you see if i eliminate this particular box i will be left with two of the vectors one starting from here to this point another starting from here to this point understood now a peculiar property of vector is that whenever a force or any type of vector acts on a particular point it creates a line it creates a line this line is known as the line of impact this line is known as the line of impact now this is a very interesting thing because along this line of impact i can easily move this particular vector to any point i want that means in place of this particular vector i can draw it in this way also and as to this will also notify f or if i don't want to draw this particular vector here i can draw it here also okay the same way but this should this force can only be displaced along this particular vector sorry along this particular line a line ta bad di amra kono khane akte partam na it can only be displaced along this particular line mono rakhi kintu along this particular line only line of impact similarly here also he also creates a line of impact along this line of impact i can dis, i can place the force in any of the particular point tar mane ei box tar moddhe if i apply this pull here it creates a line here isn't it so in place of this force if another body another body just ties a rope here and he is pulling with another force of same magnitude in the same direction then the the phenomenon of the impact that this force will be having will be the same that the other force will also have if their magnitude is the same but it should act in this line of impact understood সব সময় ফোর্স কি হইব লাইন অফ ইম্প্যাক্টে আমরা ইজিলি মুভ করতে পারুম যেখানে ইচ্ছে এখানে আমরা মুভ করতে পারুম ঠিক আছে দা ইম্প্যাক্ট দ্যাট দিস ফোর্স উইল বি হ্যাভিং আরেকটা যদি ফোর্স আনি ওই ফোর্স দিয়েও সেম রকমের ইম্প্যাক্ট হইব ওকে দেয়ার ইস নো ডিফারেন্স ইন দ্য ইন প্লেসিং দ্য ফোর্স এট এনি পয়েন্ট ইন দিস পার্টিকুলার লাইন অফ ইম্প্যাক্ট তো এটা যদি বোঝা যায় এবার দেখো রেজাল্ট্যান্টের ব্যাপারটা তো দিস পার্টিকুলার phenomenon that i have shown keep this aside i'm right to resolve the paper say there is a body again i'm taking the same example there is a body and say you are pushing the body with this particular force now what will be the resultant here see you are pushing the body the body will move forward isn't it the body will be moving forward so if if i tell you what is the resultant motion of the body then you will tell the body is moving forward isn't it but now you see instead of only one force say another body is pulling the pulling the particular box in this way at the previous example ha ekdom agar example jeta aslo now i am telling you where is the body moving understood where is the body moving to likhi koi bata kon tokhon ki koite parba je the particular body is moving forward no this force will also have some impact on this body তো এটা যে আগে যেমন যে রকমের মোশন করতেছে আগে কি আসলো ডাইরেকশন আছে ইট উইল চেঞ্জ ইট উইল চেঞ্জ এ বিট অবভিয়াসলি ইউ উইল হ্যাভ সাম ইম্প্যাক্ট অন দা বডি 
so that particular impact is known as the resultant resultant is the sum total of all the forces that acts on a particular body the sum total of all the forces that acts on a particular body now interestingly interestingly let me give a hint say this particular force is say 8 newton okay so this particular force is 8 newton and this force is say 10 newton now if i if i tell you what is the resultant force acting on it mane ei dono ta milla koto tuk resultant create korte ache ei porer upore how much total force is acting on it what you will do 8 plus 10 it is giving me 18 newton you will tell this is the resultant isn't it aha it is not that easy it is not that easy because they are vector quantity they are not scalar quantities mone rakho ei jinish ta legei amra prothome vector shuru korchi class 11 thik ache always remember scalar jodi hoy if the if the if the values are scalar quantity then and on then only i can add them directly but if it is not a scalar quantity i cannot do this this is not applicable in case of scalar quantity scalar quantity to tumi direct add korte parta na this is the very interesting thing about the scalar quantity about the vector quantities here this direct adding for adding is not allowed ঠিক আছে তো কেমনে করবা কেমনে তো এই জিনিসটা লাগা উই হ্যাভ টু লস হুইচ উই শুড ফলো হুইচ উইল বি স্টাডিং টুডে দ্য টু লস দ্যাট গভার্নস দ্য অ্যাডিশন অফ ভেরিয়াস পার্টিকুলার ভেক্টরস তো লস গুলা যেটা আছে দ্য ফার্স্ট ল ইজ দ্য ট্রায়াঙ্গুলার ল দ্য ফার্স্ট ল ইজ দ্য ট্রায়াঙ্গুলার ল অফ ভেক্টর অ্যাডিশন ট্রায়াঙ্গুলার ল অফ ভেক্টর অ্যাডিশন The second is the parallelogram law. Key law, parallelogram law of vector addition. Understood? There are two particular laws: triangular law and parallelogram law. So today we will be discussing about them in details. So first of all, about the triangular law. What is that? triangular law jodi tumi definition e jao the definition states that in case of triangular law the definition states that if two vectors if two vectors can be represented bhalo kore shuno if two vectors or you can you can note it also okay if two vectors can be represented in magnitude and direction by the two sides of a triangle taken in order then the third closing side will be the direction of the resultant thik ache meaning ki this is a very powerful statement meaning ki ha meaning chara kichu hoto na science er modhe amra meaning khujum thik ache to meaning ki dekho meaning holo let me take the previous example thik ache ekta example ni amra kaaj korun to say this is the particular body that i have taken previously now let me take another pen now say this was the initial force f this is let it be a okay not f let it be a and this is your b two forces acting on the body so now what does this triangular law state that triangular law states che a dui ta je particular force these two particular force should represent a triangle they should represent a triangle now you will obviously see the a particular je force gula a particular je vector gula ache they are not representing a triangle isn't it one line is here another line is here so here the the particular phenomenon that i have explained comes into play ki je line of impact er upore you can easily displace this particular forces tar mane dekho bhalo kore dekho there is a there is a particular cheat in this particular line okay tar mane if i do the line of impact of this particular force ami e force tar ki ekhane displace korte paro na dekho ei line er upore displace displace kora jay Huh? along this line any point i can bring the force here if i bring the force here tole dekho dui ta particular line hoye gelo ga ekta triangle er dui ta particular line ekta vertex this is a particular vertex and this is the two arms of the triangle ha huh? no <laughs> here also triangular law is not applicable triangular law te ekta jinish ache ki ki koichhilam if two forces both in magnitude and direction can represent the two sides of a triangle already they are representing two sides but there is a particular hint there tumra jodi note kore thako eta dekhba of two two sides of a triangle taken in order order nite lagbo order mane ki mone koro particular ekta triangle rakhle say this is the first term this is the second term bare bare dekho first e ei bhabe akun 
নেক্সটে আমরা এইভাবে আঁকো ব্যাপারটা বোঝা গেছে তো অর্ডার মানে কি দ্য স্টার্টিং অফ দ্য স্টার্টিং অফ এ পার্টিকুলার ব্যাক্টার হিয়ার দ্য স্টার্টিং পয়েন্ট ইস হিয়ার অ্যান্ড দ্য এন্ডিং পয়েন্ট ইস হিয়ার দিস এন্ডিং পয়েন্ট শুড কাম ইন কন্ট্যাক্ট উইথ দ্য স্টার্টিং পয়েন্ট অফ অ্যানাদার ব্যাক্টার দ্যাট মিন্স দ্য এন্ড পয়েন্ট অফ এ পার্টিকুলার ব্যাক্টার শুড অলওয়েজ টাচ দ্য স্টার্টিং পয়েন্ট অফ অ্যানাদার ব্যাক্টার আন্ডারস্টুড স্টার্টিং অ্যান্ড এন্ড পয়েন্ট অফ টু ব্যাক্টার শুড অলওয়েজ টাচ তো তার মানে দিস পার্টিকুলার ডায়াগ্রাম হিয়ার ইস নট অ্যাপ্লিকেবল তো কেমনে করবো আমরা কেমনে দেখো তো হোয়াট আই ক্যান ডু ইফ আই ওয়ান্ট ইফ আই ব্রিং দিস পার্টিকুলার ব্যাক্টার হিয়ার সে এ ব্যাক্টার আই ক্যান ব্রিং অ্যালং দিস লাইন এই যে পার্টিকুলার লাইনটা যে বি ব্যাক্টার ক্রিয়েট করে আই ক্যান ব্রিং দিস বি ব্যাক্টার হিয়ার ইজেন্ট ইট অ্যান্ড লেট মি রাব দিস পার্টিকুলার ব্যাক্টার তোলে দেখো নাও the end point of b vector is touching the starting point of a vector ever order i see dekho end point starting point end point starting point i see they are they are they are in contact isn't it now about the resultant mane e dui ta add up hoya tomar je body tar upor je impact toiri korte loishilo the first body these two forces were acting on that body isn't it and i i told you to find the resultant the total amount of force acting on that body kemne bhai korbo e dui ta mile te korbo তো এ লতে কই সে দ্য থার্ড ক্লোজিং সাইড এটা যদি ট্রাইঙ্গেলের দুইটা আর্ম হয় হোয়াট উইল বি দ্য থার্ড সাইড দিস ইজ দ্য থার্ড সাইড আর থার্ড সাইডের থার্ড সাইডের ভেক্টরের ডাইরেকশন কোন দিকে থাকবো এটা মেইন ট্রাইঙ্গুলার লতে থার্ড সাইডের ডাইরেকশন কোন দিকে থাকবো ক্যান এনি ওয়ান চেল মি দ্য ডাইরেকশন উইল বি দ্য অপোজিট অপোজিট অফ দ্য ইনিশিয়াল অর্ডার ইনিশিয়াল অর্ডার যদি এটা থাকে দেখো ইনিশিয়াল অর্ডার কি এদিক থেকে শুরু হয়েছে অ্যান্ড ইট এন্ড দ্য if i if i place in order the direction should be in this way but triangular law state that the resultant direction will be opposite not in the order dekho first of all mone rakhba a and b should be in order but the resultant will be in the opposite order understood the resultant will be in the opposite order understood okay now now এই যে আছে বাই দিস লো দেখো বাই দিস লো ইউ আর অনলি ফাইন্ডিং হোয়াট ইউ আর অনলি ফাইন্ডিং দা কি ডাইরেকশন নট দ্য ম্যাগনিটিউড এটা শুধু ডাইরেকশন দিতে কিন্তু দিস ইজ দিস ইজ গিভিং অনলি দ্য ডাইরেকশন দিস নট গিভিং দ্য ম্যাগনিটিউড ইট সেলফ ইন অর্ডার টু ফাইন্ড দ্য ম্যাগনিটিউড আমরা কি করবো আমি কি জানি এটা উই হ্যাভ টু অ্যাড ইট আপ না তো দ্য রেজাল্টেন্ট উইল বি এ ভেক্টর প্লাস বি ভেক্টর ইটস নট দ্যাট ইজি ওকে আমি প্রথমে কিনলাম কি যে ভেক্টর কোয়ান্টিটিস ডাজ নট অ্যাড আপ দ্যাট ইজিলি ডাইরেকশন ম্যাগনিটিউড বাইর করার লাগা কি করুম ওখানে দেখো তো লেট মি টেক এন এক্সাম্পল সে দিস ইজ এ পার্টিকুলার ব্যাক্টার এ ব্যাক্টার সে দিস ইজ এ পার্টিকুলার ব্যাক্টার বি ব্যাক্টার অ্যান্ড আই নো এজ দ্য ট্রাইঙ্গুলার লস স্টেট দ্যাট দিস ইজ দ্য অর্ডার অফ এ অ্যান্ড বি আর এটা কি হবে এটা অপোজিট অর্ডার এটা এভাবে আসতো না এটা অপোজিট অর্ডারে যাইবো ঠিক আছে আর না একটু ফাইন দা ভ্যালু অফ আরবেট ইজেন্ট ইট একটু ফাইন দা ভ্যালু অফ আরবেট নাও ইউ সি হোয়াট আই উইল ডু ইফ আই এক্সটেন্ড দিস পার্টিকুলার লাইন এন্ড এক্সটেন্ড দিস পার্টিকুলার লাইন দেন দে উইল ফর্ম এ রাইট 90 ডিগ্রি হিয়ার ইজেন্ট ইট দে উইল ফর্ম এ 90 ডিগ্রি এট দিস পয়েন্ট লেট মি নেম দিস পার্টিকুলার পয়েন্টস লেট ইট বি পি লেট ইট বি কিউ লেট ইট বি আর লেট ইট বি এস So now what we can do now what we can do here so first of all we have to mention some angles here okay so ever tumra jodi dekho a r b er majkhane ekta particular angle say this angle between a and b this angle eta dekho eta a line of impact and b is here so let the angle be theta okay 
सो नाउ व्हाट आई कैन डू भालू करा देखो कि आर एस बाय क्यू एस का नोशन आर एस बाय आर क्यू ये जो कि परपेंडिकुलर एंड दिस इज माय हाइपोटेनियस इज योर साइन थीटा इज इन थीट सो देयर फॉर आर एस इक्वल टू आर क्यू साइन थीटा Understood. Similarly, your QS divided by RQ. The QS take a base, and this is your hypotenuse. The base by hypo give me cos theta. So here, QS equal to RQ cos theta. भालो करा देखा मेरे टा बोल चुनी है जगह टा. See it closely and see you understood up to this much or not. वैसे तो एब देखो इन मध्य दिस इज योर आर एस एंड आर क्यू लुक क्लोजली दिस आर क्यू इज एक्चुअली इज योर बी वैक्टर इज इंट सो बी साइन थीटर रिमेम्बर आई एम फाइंडिंग द मैग्नीट्यूड हियर आई एम फाइंडिंग द मैग्नीट्यूड सो आई विल नॉट टेक द वैक्टर साइन हियर ओके सो हियर ऑल्सो क्यू एस इज योर आर क्यू जगह देखिए बी कॉस थीटर अंडरस्टूड So now, ultimately, a pure at a particular sum quarter, a triangular law, the idea will come. Look, direction. So I get in the initial stage only. R vector direction. Come to judge. If this is the, if this is the east direction, this is the northeast direction. It's a key. It's a, it's a, it's a direction. Come to judge. North and east. Northeast direction. Understood. It's a we. I'm not already direction. Pile it. See, but I'm not main. Look, what? 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 Magnitude. Magnitude. Look. What? 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 इखने पार्टिकुलर दूसरा पर ए जे क्यू एस एंड आर एस आई ऑलरेडी फाउंड आउट दिस पर ओके सो मैग्नीट्यूड कार बाय करूँ ए पार्टिकुलर आर वेक्टर है एंड आर वेक्टर रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय की पी आर आई हैव टू फाइंड पी आर सो यू ऑल नो अबाउट द पाइथागोरस थ्योरम पाइथागोरस थ्योरम में क्या कुछ है जब पी आर डेट इस In place of PS, like a PS, a a PS. Now PS, if I take here, this PQ is your A. PQ is your A. Plus QS, QS, QS is your B cos theta. Understood? Understood? Look, how to show that? Look, one more show, one more easy. Huh? RS, RS, take it. RS, take B sine theta. And here I have to do the square. Okay. तो क्या है ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा प्लस ए टू ए बी कॉस थीटा प्लस बी स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर थीटा ठीक है सर ओके नो लेट मी रब अ लिटिल बिट सो अल्टीमेटली देखो ये क्या है तो सर इफ आई टेक ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी कॉस थीटा If I take b square common cos square theta plus sine square theta, it will give me a square plus b square plus two ab cos theta. Okay, so what will be the value of pr here? Hmm? So therefore, pr that is your r, the magnitude of r. A last thing I am going to show you the magnitude. Can you see it? मैग्नीट्यूड आई कैन शो आइडर बाय नॉट गिविंग द वेक्टर साइन बाय जो कि तुम्हें वेक्टर साइन यूज़ करो आई विल गिविंग ए गिविंग ए मॉड्यूलस लास्ट दिन हमें कोशिश ला व्हाट इस मॉड्यूलस आई एक्सप्लेन इन द लास्ट वीडियो लास्ट वीडियो तो देखो यू विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इस मॉड्यूलस है स Magnitude, but for now, देखो formula तक की जे r modulus is equal to root over a square plus b square plus two ab cos theta. Understood? Now, now एक दूर को लियो ही तो ना. Now देखो, देखो. If I know the coordinates, देखो triangular law दिया. I already found out the direction. देखो, look closely. Triangular law दिया. I already found out the direction in which the resultant is acting. I already found out the key as the magnitude of resultant. So problem over. But here is a particular cheat here. Cheat to look at how. Age direction does. It's a two minute. You are seeing the direction, isn't it? 
but if i am there and i don't understand this particular sum say i am not understanding this particular sum and i ask you hey where is the direction so what will under what you will be telling me ha tumi ki koiba je are r vector e dikhe you you will tell me what r vector is in north east now i don't know where is not know where is east i don't know anything i told are i am seeing only a vector and b vector here but where is r vector actually tell me so there is a problem here ए प्रॉब्लम तो सॉल्व कर लगा व्हाट टू डू वी मेंशन द डायरेक्शन मोर अगर बट डायरेक्शन जैसे मैं देखा है बा वी कैन शो इट इन टू वेज ओके देर आर थ्री वेज एक्चुअली द फर्स्ट वे इज इज बाय यूजिंग द कोऑर्डिनेट्स नॉर्थ ईस्ट साउथ साउथ वेस्ट ओके बट दैट इज अ बिट मेसी ठीक है सेटा शॉप खाने यूज़ करते बट ना एस समवन हु डजन नो द डायरेक्शन सेंस और समवन हु एक्चुअली हैवन सीन द सम हे बुस्तों ने ही विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हेयर इज़ द पर्टिकुलर वेस्ट व्हेयर इज़ द पर्टिकुलर नॉट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सम तो तुम रे एक्टर आउट है जब बोलगा तो व्हाट वी डू वी मेंशन द Unit vector. Last thing, just like I said, I'm either by finding the unit vector we tell the direction, but unit vector to whom we will go? But just like that, vector form of the other thing, like like the last uh, particular uh, video I have done, there there was a question there two i cap plus three j cap plus four k cap. There, if it if it is mentioned in i cap, j cap, and k cap, I mean coordinate axis are about. So, you will do unit vector by school, but. If I if the if this if the particular sum does not have that particular uh, i cap j cap k cap coordinates, तो मैं क्या निर्भर कर पाता हूँ उन्हें रिच। तो अखों ना हमरा angle रिच use करी। We used a particular angle to show the direction of it. तो angle क्या मैं दूँ? What I do? Let this angle be beta. Let this angle be beta. Now if anyone ask you, if I ask you, where is the direction of our vector? You will be telling, अरे it is Angle beta from from a vector. It is angle beta from a vector. Then I can tell. Oh, a vector is acting in this way, and angle beta ki angle beta will be above. Huh? Now it is very easy. But how to find this angle beta? So in order to do that, the formula ki kuch se ekhane. If I want to find this angle beta, dekho. If I apply this formula, tan beta. What will be doing? Tan beta. Bara bara kuch se tan beta. What will be doing? Tan er formula ki. Perpendicular by base. Perpendicular by base. Where is the perpendicular here? R S. Where is the base here? P S. So what will be the formula standing? R S kya silo? R S kya silo? Ekhane. R S was B sine theta divided by where? Where is P S? P S kya silo? A plus B cos theta. So by applying this formula, I can easily find the value of angle beta. So by so by using triangular law, I can find the magnitude also. I can show the direction if I and if I need the angle, I can also find the angle and then show the direction. Understood? It is so easy. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. So after triangular law, okay. After triangular law, there is another particular law. It is much more easier than triangular law by which we can add. two particular vectors that is known as what parallelogram law now we'll be discussing about the parallelogram law before that pause the video and i revise a bit about the triangular law because this will help you to understand about the about the key parallelogram law okay so now we will we'll be understanding about the parallelogram law in the last part we learned about the triangular law triangular law the key is law If any two forces or any two vectors represent two sides of a triangle in order, then the third closing side taken in opposite order will represent the resultant. But in parallelogram law, see both law are the same; they will give you the same result. Okay? Parallelogram law, they will give you the same result. But here there is a difference. Difference to you know. So initially the two vectors were represented by the two sides of a triangle let me take the example here was a vector and here was another vector what i did i moved this particular vector to this point along the impact i moved this particular vector isn't it so this was the resultant here but in triangular law what i'll do i'll move this particular vector to this point okay initially this point was the ending point now what i'll do 
I'll be representing them in such a way. Let me give the vector sign. I'll be representing them in such a way so that this point becomes the starting point of a vector. The Kaniki Kushalam along the line of impact, I can move this vector anywhere. So it's taken nice. Now, what is parallelogram law? Just listen to the definition and you will understand it. Okay. This law states that if these two vectors A and B can represent in magnitude and direction, in magnitude and direction, the two adjacent side of a parallelogram, adjacent side, they should be adjacent side of a parallelogram. So let me create a parallelogram by this particular vectors. Okay. By the adjacent side of a parallelogram, then the diagonal of this vector this diagonal will represent in magnitude and direction the resultant of the two vectors. That means here the closing side was the resultant, but here the diagonal is the resultant. Now you see how it is same as this particular triangular law. Now, very easy. In a parallelogram, the opposite sides are equal, isn't it? So if this is B vector, this will also be B vector. This line will also be B vector, isn't it? Huh? So now you see this diagram, this particular diagram, and this particular diagram is the same, isn't it? Huh? So now here also, if you if we apply the same as the initial one, see here also, if I do this particular line here, this is R A B. Okay. Here also, if I bring down the perpendicular i can find the resultant from it by applying the pythagoras theorem this result will also be similar as the first one the derivation is the same so no need to do that okay so the resultant will be this okay the result will be this so always remember i am not using any vector sign here that means i am writing only the magnitude not the vector now in order to show the direction you can show it in this way also but if you need but if you need the uh, angle, then let this angle be beta and this angle be theta. See, if this is the angle theta, then this will also be angle be theta. These two are corresponding angle, isn't it? So now, if I want to find this beta angle, then tan beta, what was that? Uh, initially, in triangular law, I explained, isn't it? What is the value of tan beta? Quickly. Now, can you revise that? It was B sine theta by A plus B cos theta. Understood. Understood. This two. Okay. Now, so we understood about the triangular law and the parallelogram law. Now, let me actually do an example and show how to apply them, how to do a particular sum by using these two laws. Okay. Now, we will be taking an example now. So, consider now. Let us take an example, example. Uh, so now let me give a vision. Say it is a windy climate like today. So say you are returning from school. Huh? One egg tired. You are very tired. You are returning from your school. Uh, suddenly say on the middle of the road you are standing here. Huh? You brought an ice cream. It was summer. You brought an ice cream. You are enjoying your ice cream in the, in, the, in, the, in the middle of the road. Suddenly what happens? Rainfall started. Rainfall started. Okay. The rainfall started vertically. Okay, vertically. The rain was dropping vertically. So here the rain was dropping. Okay. So you are standing here. The rain was falling vertically. So what I did by the line of impact, I brought this particular line downward. Okay. So rain was falling vertically. So the velocity of rain is in this direction. And say, suddenly you opened your umbrella. Rainfall started, you opened your umbrella. And suddenly a big gust of wind came. Okay. The wind was blowing in the, say it is in the, in the, in the downward direction. The wind was flowing in the, say, towards west. It is flowing towards west. West is this direction, isn't it? It is flowing towards west. Now you see. I have to find. Now here is the question. I have to find. In which direction I have to place my umbrella in order to protect myself? I am enjoying the ice cream. I have to protect myself. So in which direction I will be placing the umbrella? See, 
you are standing here the rain is falling vertically a gust of wind went when in the west direction okay but now where you will be placing the umbrella so how to do it so before doing what i'll be doing i will just draw the axis it makes easier for me okay so this is the x axis and this is the y axis now for beginners let this particular velocity be say 30 meter per second and say the wind came at say how much say it is 40 meter per second so i have to find the first i have to find the resultant in which direction i have to place the umbrella now you see as the rain falls and the wind flows the direction of uh, the direction of rain will also change in which direction it will change the direction of the rain will now be be signified be denoted by the resultant of these two vectors see these two forces are acting on on this particular point on you isn't it so the direction of rainfall will be in the direction of the resultant now where will be the resultant now you see these two vectors are in are starting from the same point now so which law will be applying triangular or this uh, parallelogram law in triangular law they have to be in order but here their starting points are the same so it must be the parallelogram law and majority of the sum remember always majority of the sum try to apply the parallelogram but it is it is much more easier okay i'll be giving some questions in the comment uh, try that by using parallelogram okay it will help in the long run okay so now ever ki dekho so where is the resultant ki ase lo question je resultant ta tara diagonal show korbo the diagonal will be showing the resultant so this is the diagonal isn't it so this is the direction of the rainfall the resultant direction of the rainfall so in order to prevent this rainfall from falling on your back what will be doing i'll be placing the umbrella in this way now at a simple now. so first let me find the resultant velocity of this particular wind if i want to find the resultant what is the formula a square plus b square plus 2a because the in place of a there is v w in place of b there is v r 2 v w v r cos theta now what is the theta theta was the total angle always remember there is usually a condition uh, sorry confusion there is usually a confusion that which angle is your theta and which angle is your beta it is a very common common problem between all the students so in order to sim simplify this always remember the total angle between the two vectors initial two vectors okay the total angle between initial two vectors is your theta the total angle the full angle between them is your theta and beta is the angle of resultant with any of the vectors any of the vectors you can take it with this one also or you can take this particular beta with this particular angle also okay here also you can take your beta understood any of the vectors you can take your beta angle so theta means the total angle now what is the total angle see one is falling in the downward direction another two was east so the total angle is your 90 degrees so theta's value is 90 and we know cos 90 value is 0. So this part will be cut it out. So the final answer will be 30 square plus, sorry, 40 square plus 30 square. That will give me 2500 and the answer will be 50 meter per second. So it is only the magnitude. I have to find the direction now. Now I told that in order to show the direction, you must, uh, you can represent in three ways. Either the unit vector. Here the unit vector is not possible. Because you don't have to ask I kept J kept K kept this another You can represent it in your own ways. So, when you unit vector, it is But usually, now that we are talking, we don't apply that unit vector concept. Take us. Now, the second J J T is called. Second J is called by using the coordinate by using the direction sense. That is west, east, north, south. But if you look, one is falling in the downward direction. Downward is key direction. That I have told you. Take us. That direction sense it also doesn't work. So here we have to find the angle. So angle as I told I can I can denote any of the angle as beta let this angle be beta or this angle be beta any of the angle can be beta so how to find that tan beta now previously you have seen the formula isn't it b sin theta divided by a plus b cos theta okay but here I'll give you a shortcut okay I'll give you a shortcut as to which will be a and which will be b okay always remember always remember the vector, the vector with which the angle is taken, the h angle ta se ta ki a vector loga na hoi se. The vector with which the angle is taken should not be broken. 
we cannot resolve it into sine and cos in this particular formula. If you remember this, you will get the shortcut. So, see what I did. I have taken the angle beta with VR, isn't it? So, what I will do, in that particular problem, there was one vector which was not broken, which was not represented as sine or cos, isn't it? The below A part. So, this in place of A, I will write 30. And the other vector that is there, it will be represented by sine theta and cos theta. Understood? Similarly, if I took in place of this, if this was angle beta, then, then, see, then this beta was taken in VW. So, this cannot be broken. This will be applied here. And here it will be 30, what? Cos theta and 30 sine theta. Understood? Now, what is the theta angle here? 90 degree. Cos 90, cos 90 value is 0. And sine 90 value is your 1. So, the answer will be 3 by 4. 10 beta equals to 3 by 4. From here, if I want to find beta, it will be 10 inverse 3 by 4. And in order to find it, use the tangent table. Okay. Tangent table. Look in your maths book. Okay. Okay. So, now, today, we what we did, let us recap a bit. Amra kiki koshi tinta jinish mean. First of all, we learned about the line of impact, how we can move a vector in the line of impact. Next, we learned about the triangular law. Third, we learned about the parallelogram law. I have done an example. I will give you, giving you one question. Any problem you have in that particular question that I will be giving you as, an, as, as a homework, but you will not have a particular explanation, you can easily comment in the comments below and I will do that particular sum for you. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day.